Hi, this is Bethany with Maple and Main Lifestyle and Real Estate. Today I want to talk to you about something that I hold very near and dear to my heart, and that's entertaining. I think a lot of people would entertain more, but they're overwhelmed by not having the right dishes or not having enough space. Well, I'm going to take the guesswork out of everything, and I'm going to show you some really easy, simple ways to set an amazing table. You're not going to have to worry about it, and you're going to feel really confident when you go to invite that friends and family over, it's gonna be great. The first thing I wanted to point out, the fact that we're using all white dishes. This line happens to be from Crate and Barrel. It's their essentials line, and you can actually get a set of eight dinner plates, salad plates, and bowls for $100. So you're not gonna break the bank. You're gonna have a timeless piece of dinnerware that you're never gonna, it's never gonna go out of style, it's great. So now I'm gonna show you the basic kind of table setting that's maybe the foundation, if you will, of how to start everything. You can add to it, make it more formal or informal, but let's start with just the basics and we'll build from there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the plate and we're gonna kind of center it on the placemat. We're gonna take one of our napkins. These are white ones, again, all white. We're gonna place it on the left of the plate and we're gonna take one of the forks and something about the silverware, it doesn't have to be fancy. So again, this is Crate and Barrel, super classic, super easy. We're gonna take that fork and we're gonna center it and lay it right on top of the napkin. Looks perfect, looks great. We're gonna grab our knife and our spoon, our other two pieces of cutlery. The knife always goes on the right side of the plate with the blade pointing in and the spoon goes next to that. Now something to note, is that you're gonna wanna line up all your utensils with the bottom of your plate. So you wanna make sure you leave enough room for that water glass, and you just wanna make it look nice and symmetrical. The lines all line up, looks really nice. So this water glass here, a lot of people, if you look at the face of a clock, would say you put it up on the right-hand side, right about that one o'clock. You wanna make sure it's not hanging over, because that doesn't do any good. And voila, you have this basic table setting, and something just to dress it up a little bit more I grabbed a sprig of thyme, and I'm gonna lay it just at an angle on the middle of the plate, and you've got something that's super elegant, super nice, and you're ready to go. So now that you've seen the basic table setting, we're gonna add to it, because there are a few more items that can make it a lot easier if you're having more food than just what was in that basic setting. So a lot of people serve salads with their dinners, and so if you're gonna serve a salad, you can use another salad plate instead of the normal dinner plate. And what you would do is you would just put it right on top, so it sits right there. And then if you're having soup or you're doing some kind of saucy dish, maybe a curry dish or something like that, it's really nice to have a bowl. So you take that bowl and you also set it right on top of that salad plate. You've got a nice stacked effect. It just looks really good with all the white and the silverware. Making sure everything is still lined up because you want that. And then if you're like me, you might be serving wine with your meal. And so what you would do with the wine glass is you would put it next to that water glass, just up above the utensils. And just because I drink wine doesn't mean everybody does. So sometimes people will put spritzers in here, strawberry lemonade or something yummy. It's great to use a wine glass because it looks fancy, it makes people feel kind of just an extra little effect. So I would use a wine glass even if I wasn't serving wine for people. And again, I'm gonna place it right there. I'm gonna take my thyme sprig. I probably wouldn't put it inside the bowl, but I'd maybe move the fork over and set it on the outside. Whichever look you really like, that's all you gotta do. Just have fun with it. I'm gonna keep setting the table now so you can see a completed look, and then we'll go from there. guys we've got a fully set table it looks amazing and it's actually really simple like I showed you um, one of the things you'll see I added was a really cool inexpensive centerpiece I went over to the store I spent about $12 got a mixed bouquet of flowers the colors are nice and springy or whatever you're looking for and instead of using big vases I used these mason jars I had them in the cupboard and then when everybody's sitting down, you're able to talk without having something in front of you. So that's really nice. And usually I try and do things in odd numbers. So I only had four things here and I actually grabbed this little guy off my coffee table, set it right over here in the middle. I now have a grouping of five. 
it looks aesthetically pleasing and you're ready to go. So head over to maplemain.com because we've got some great entertaining tips. There's more information there. And we have a blog post that's gonna have links for all the dishes that we used today, as well as a super cool playlist from Spotify that you'll be able to use at your next dinner party.